19th topic is about graphing quadratic functions. This is the simple way of graphing, making a table, taking x values, y values, and then graphing it up with different points. You will have coordinates and different points of x. You can find the y value and graph it. So this is the regular way. Now, there are some other ways also. Now, since the 19th topic is in part 2, you will have MCQs. You will have four options. So you, you can use other ways to save time and solve it simple, solve it in a quicker manner. So I will tell you a few shortcuts over here using calculator. Now, say for example, you have all the four options. Imagine this is the graph. Uh, you know, all the graphs will be there. And if it's domain and range, I'll tell you in a while. Now, first, let's just focus on the graphs. Let's look into the equation over here. What does this equation say? It doesn't say much, it's just numbers, but you can see whether it's plus or minus. That is a very important thing because if it is plus, the graph will open upwards like this. Whereas when it is minus, it will go downwards like this. This is a huge thing because not all your four options will be same way. Just by this plus or minus sign, you can eliminate one option at least or maybe two options. Anyways, but we can't get the accurate one. So there's one more method that is take out your calculator and solve this equation altogether. More, phi and quadratic equations are option three. Now all you need to do is solve it up. Over here the coefficient before x squared is a, that is one, six and eight. So what happens is you get the points, the solutions of this particular graph where the graph touches the x-axis. It is at minus 2 and minus 4. Let's see. Yes, at minus 2, minus 4. And now this will be a deciding factor because not many graphs will have the same solution. Because only this graph is the only graph which can have the solution. Now, so that will be one of the major deciding factor. And with the knowledge of plus or minus, you can easily find the graph out of the options. Or if you want to go a little bit more deeper, you can do the vertex. You can find the vertex. We have already done in the previous video. The vertex formula is given by minus b by 2a. That is, over here, b value is 6 divided by 2 times a is 1. So multiplied by, by 1, the answer would be minus 3. So the vertex will be the axis of symmetry over here, uh, will be at, at minus 3. So now if you know this minus 3, then just put the minus 3 in, to, in this equation instead of x, and you will get the y value. This is important if, they want you, if you want to know the range. In the graph, range is possible. Otherwise, if you don't have the graph, you can use this um, vertex formula. I mean, the axis of symmetry formula. You'll find the x value of the vertex, and then you can easily find the y. Now, we will solve it for y. Just put minus 3 instead of x. Use the bracket because it's minus over here. And it's minus 3 over here plus 8. And the answer is minus 1. So, you can see here x was minus 3 y is minus 1 and then the solutions were minus 2 minus 4 and it opens upwards this is more than enough information to easily find the graph you do not need to do the table and all the plotting of points and everything you can do that obviously that is one of the easiest way but you can also do the shortcuts to easily find the answer now same way everything uh, we are all the point uh, all the graphs you can do it like that and I'll just quickly come to this graph, mode 5, 3. If I solve this to minus 4 and 3, I will get i, that is imaginary number, because there is no solution. You can see over here, the graph does not touch the x-axis. It's over the x-axis. That means there is no real solutions. That is why it is like this. Now, you can use the same domain formula, uh, sorry, the vertex, x-axis of the vertex. And then you can easily find the points. Now, what about the domain and range? The domain for a quadratic function is always all real numbers. What it means is, what are the possible x values it can hold? 
it can hold any x value because it's square so it's fine you can even put any values but say if it was like this one by x there will be some restricted values the denominator cannot be equal to zero isn't it why because one divided by zero is undefined it can be up to infinity you know so this is undefined so that's why we always restrict the domain x cannot be equal to zero cannot be equal to zero similarly over here there is no uh, it's not a rational function or anything you can apply any x value so it's fine it goes on forever this extends until infinity it keeps on going so it just goes on towards the y-axis until infinity and x-axis also both the sides until infinity so that's why we tell all real numbers it is same for all the six options uh, all the six problems you can easily um, uh, write that but what about the range domain is for the x values this is the domain x values range is the y values the y axis let's see over here it's the y over here this is the range okay now what about the range depending on where it opens up and where it begins you need to write the range once you know the graph it's very easy from the graph i'll just clear it all now over here you can see the y value is 3 and it goes down of 3 so that means all the values of y less than or equal to 3 is possibility of range but it can't be above because there is no part of the graph above 3 so that's the thing so the range would be less than or equal to 3 same way for the other problems over here the range is more than 1 so it is more than or equal to 1 over here it was more than or equal to minus 1 similarly the next problems you can check over here see all the domains are real numbers whereas the range is vary range over here is greater than or equal to 0 over here it's less than or equal to 0 and over here it's greater than or equal to 1 try these problems by yourselves and then you can easily solve now if you're thinking how to solve this in calculator it's again same um, over here the solution see whenever you equate this to zero the answer will be zero so it's very obvious because when you solve uh, for the solution you need to equate this to zero isn't it and answer will be zero but still you can use mode phi and three and put the value minus two zero and zero and your answer will be zero so that's how we can solve all of this and the negative sign means it will open downwards so all the values less than or equal to zero are mentioned over here in the range